Good morning. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee. Today we're going to talk about early moon. Mm-hmm. We've got a full moon coming up this week and I think the effects are arriving sooner rather than later. Now you know. I'm not super big into astrology. I don't I haven't studied it. I don't have all the wisdom of the technicalities of it or anything like that. So I'm not your astrology girl. You'd need Molly McCord for that. Molly McCord for that. Or Pam Gregory for that. So for us, I will say, and I will recognize Mercury retrograde. I will. I will recognize it. I know. Just because you don't know a lot about astrology doesn't mean it does not affect you because it's energy. And I have, I was talking to a friend last, just this last week, and we were both talking about how we've been following the moon cycles for years. And I myself, back in, oh gosh, 2016, I created a small group called the Moon Club. Some of you are familiar with the Moon Club. <clears throat> and we would meet on the full moon, and we would do clearing and connect with spirit guides, and it was just this ritual that we did every month and so to that moon energy then became this amazing supporter and also guide and I think part of me falling in love with the moon was about me discovering myself my beautiful feminine energy and my beautiful essence and my soul and my balancing of all my energies. And so too for you, this early moon plus Mercury retrograde, you may feel a lot that doesn't make sense. And you might seem like you're over, over emotional, quick to anger, irritable, tired, extra tired. Or you might seem super energetic, like the hyperactive part, like the kid with all the sugar, like that. Or all the caffeine, in my case, as the adult, okay? Too much caffeine, you do not want to be around me. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Any number of these things could be how the moon is affecting or impacting you. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, well, it's, it's relevant, it's present right here, right now. And number two, we got to harness this energy that we have available to us. We got to ride it. Because why not? That's what we're here for is to enjoy the ride of this thing called life, right? And so we get this opportunity to learn about it. And we learn about ourselves. And we learn about energy. Because this early moon and on the piggyback and of the Mercury retrograde stuff, there's a lot of energy moving. There could be turbulence, there could be a spiraling, there could be amping up, high highs, low lows, there could be just this like detachment. Maybe some of you are like eject, eject, and just detached from all of it. And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. I'm like, Oh, honey pie, give it about five days, maybe a week or so, and then you'll feel the effects after the fact. It's kind of like a hangover energetically because you'll get one, especially if you're an empathic person, which most of you are, which means you function and focus all of the efforting around the heart and ensuring your relationships are good and your people are taken care of and that you're meeting deadlines and that you're showing up and you're doing all of the things with a huge coffee in your hand. Your head like filled with Tylenol or ibuprofen because of the headaches you've had. And your flip-flops on because you just couldn't find the other sock so you could put your tennis shoes on today. So I'm not just talking about people who are mothers. I'm talking about everybody. Everybody. So let's work with this 
early moon. Let's feel the energetics and use the re's of the retrograde. Retrograde is all about the review, renewal, revisiting, recharging, receiving. It's that recognition. It's an opportunity for redos. Do you got to redo? Mm-hmm. I know, me too. Got quite a few, actually. And don't worry. Don't worry. I, I describe to people, I'm like, if you make a decision and it's not quite the right decision or you feel like you're going the wrong direction, like you only had two choices, <laughs> the universe would laugh at you if they heard you say that. Because it's a cul-de-sac. The, you get to a T in the road, a fork in the road, it's right or left. It's a cul-de-sac. You end up in the same place. You just are a different person when you get there based upon the experiences you've had on your journey. And guess what? That's where free will comes in. Your mind influences you. And your soul, your spirit guides you. So with this early moon and this retrograde energy, you have such an incredible awareness of everything that matters to you based upon what doesn't. What are you getting upset about right now? What do you feel like you're lacking or missing out on? Are you FOMOing right now? Oh my God, I'm missing out. Oh my God, I'm so old. Oh my God, I should have went to college for X, Y, and Z and instead I did X, Y, and L. Like, oh, I should have went on that trip. Oh, I wish I would have registered for this. Oh, I wish I would have applied for that job. Mm Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All of this, coulda, shoulda, woulda, wisha, is information. It's giving you information. All this, the emotion that's coming in is giving you intel. Pay attention on this early full moon. It's giving you information, helping you to sort. And it's easy. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And if you're concerned about the yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, go back to the no's and start reading down them again. No, 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 nope, 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 nope. It gets easier each time you go through the pile. And the yeses, some of them become more no's. That's the point. That's what focus is. That's what focus is, narrowing things down, getting information. Sometimes you get bombarded by what you don't want and what you dislike so that you can really savor the opportunities, the moments, the chances, the possibilities for what you really do enjoy. That includes people. If you really hate your coworkers and you really hate the people you work with, then work from home or look for another environment. But if you keep moving jobs and the same things keep happening, just like relationships, if you keep changing people and the same things keep happening, guess what? It's you. It's you that's recreating the same scenario. That's just the truth. That's just a fact. That's not a judgment. That's just a fact. That's not judgment. Hey, I do the same thing. Like if you could see me right now, if we were actually on video, which we're not because I have to work in a little while, don't have time to do a video right now. I'm raising my hand. I do the same thing. I recreate the same thing too. And then what happens? Then you go, okay, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I fold. No one to fold them. I fold them. I fold. I fold. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. Not doing that again. Nope, not doing anything anywhere near, anywhere close to that again, ever. And then you take yourself out. You detach. Isn't that what I described earlier with the energies? For some of you that don't feel it at all. It doesn't mean the planets are not in your charts. It means your energy isn't connected in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't mean it has to be, but the sheer awareness that it's not is important. You got to ask the question. There's healthy detachment, you know, like the Buddha and detachment work, but, you know, detach from the outcomes and all of that goodness. But that's not what I'm talking about here. Relationships energy, work, people, however it plays out. It's energetic relationship, energetic relationship. 
And that full moon helps you to, to clear, to process. It's just a matter of fact. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Go back to the nose if you're worried about it. No, 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 no. You'll just reaffirm what you already know in the nose. Am I getting to you? Like, do you believe what I'm saying to you about energy? Or are you going to go read like 15 different experts on stuff and then get so overloaded and overwhelmed with information that you're not going to do anything about it anyway? I mean, it's okay if that's what you're going to do. That's We will call that a distraction, which is a form of detachment, which is I'm not going to participate in this in a way that's going to be ap- applicable to me. You can research and get intel. Great. But apply it. How are you going to apply it? You got to digest. You got to digest. See, this is why we challenge, we're challenged in receiving because we receive too much input, too much stimulus, too much overloaded, overwhelmed, which is empathically, oh my God, electronically shorting out our circuits, which is why when we have something like a Mercury retrograde and a full moon energy coming in, we get so tilt a whirl, spinny, spinny, spinny. And we get pulled off our center, off our grounding. So should we do that right now? Should we ground in? Should you guys want to plug in? Do you need to find your chargers? Okay. Do you need to find your chargers? I know you. If you're anything like me, you've got them all over. You got like one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, one in the hallway, one by the entryway door. So you can plug in your phone or your kids or your spouse or whoever can. One in the kitchen by, you know, where you're making your coffee and all. I mean, you got them all over. So let's find your charger and let's plug in. Want to do that? Should we do that? Okay, let's do that. So this part is going to be a little meditative, so get ready for that. If you don't like that, it's not your Jimmy Jam or your Terry Lewis. Just move along. It's okay. <sighs> Sip of coffee today. But good news, you guys. I woke up sexy as hell again. That's my coffee mug I got right now. Woke up sexy as hell again. You're just going to have to trust me because that's etherically, like energetically, I'm sexy as hell right now because <laughs> physically just not. <laughs> Ah, okay. Woof. Ready? Ah, everybody exhale. Ah, ah, there you go. Good job. All right. It should be obvious, but don't do this when you're driving. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. I could be really magical. You never know today. <laughs> Might put you into a state. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen when you're driving or operating heavy machinery. But please, listen around your pets and your young children. <laughs> okay. Nice breath in, nice exhale out. Uh, yeah, use your voice. Come on. Uh, use your voice. Do you have one? Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. You have a voice. Uh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, all right. Nice. Open that mouth. Good. All right. Mm, Soften into the mushy center of your body. Go right to your Buddha belly. Go right to the center core of your body. So we're going to activate the energy of that sacral chakra, that belly space. We're actually going to, we're going to bring the upper belly and the lower belly together. We're going to use that diaphragm energy as you breathe we're going to utilize that beautiful yellow of the solar plexus your spirit your sun chakra and that gorgeous very deep pumpkin spice latte orange sacral chakra okay so those two together we're going right to the engine room okay of the ship okay nice breath in and an exhale out ah If you feel weird, you're doing it right. Uh, Wiggle your jaw if you can, if you're comfortable, or at least drop your jaw open a little bit. Uh, Make a little bit of a noise if you can. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but you're doing it right if it sounds weird. Because the point is not just to open your mouth. The point is to activate judgment. Did it work? Okay, feeling your breath. 
Exhaling out. Ah. Do you feel judgment when you say anything? Ah. When you kind of ah, wiggle your mouth, wiggle your tongue. You feel some judgment there? You feel some silliness? You feel your mind saying, what's the point of this? I thought this was meditation. Do you feel do you, oh, lots of judgment? Good job on that. Yeah, okay, thank you, brain. Okay, thank you. Nice breath in for the brain. Exhale out, drop into the body now. Go to the place that I told you we were going to meet. And that is in your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. So in your belly, go to your belly, upper belly, low belly. Going to balance out the energy of the Buddha belly. That wise wisdom center. We're going to imagine a beautiful orb of light at the center core of your body, right at the center of your spine. It kind of looks like one of those big exercise balls. You know the kind you can sit on and it releases your hips and the pressure of your body like that? That's in the center of your body. So when you're moving up and down with your spine, your your lungs are supported and held, kind of buoyed by that soft, little bouncy orb energy, that beautiful sphere of light just kind of in there at the center. And then your low back your spine at the ba- at the back side of you is really like, hey, this is nice. It's kind of soft. It's buoyant. It it feels flexible. Like it can move a little bit, give and has some ease to it. Okay. And so if you wiggle the left and right just a little bit, it'll be easeful, kind of rolling to one side, rolling to the other side. Now, if you're sitting, you'll particularly like I'm sitting cross-legged right now on kind of a soft um, cushion, it, it I can kind of feel that a little bit going back and forth and move how your body feels good with that beautiful ball, that orb of light in there. Again, it's yellow and orange, pumpkin spice latte orange, mm-hmm. and sun orange, so sunflowers and pumpkins. Oh, yes. Okay. Feel in. The front of the body. Allow your body to feel squishy. Let yourself get some roly poly olies, right? We need some rolls, rolls. We need some squishiness. And we need to sit in this state and not have judgment of our body because you will. When you're breathing in and exhaling out, you will feel some judgment as you feel your physical body. This is embodiment. This is a connection, a relationship to the body. So that solar plexus, the sacral chakra are loving and honoring the body, reaching out from that center, that bouncy, that that exercise ball energy, arcing out into that Buddha belly tummy and letting it fall over the lower thighs, fall over the legs and just be soft, recognizing that that is great that is good, that is your soul inside, your yellow, rich sun chakra reaching out to touch the edge of your big belly and underneath, cupping underneath the body, under that the, the hips and the sits bone and the pelvis and that tailbone and curling back up into the body and holding that bottom of your body, of your pelvis and rocking that holding that and then the skin kind of falling over, softening, relaxing. So you feel the energetics of that sacrum, that sacral area, that beautiful, beautiful, deep, rich pumpkin, that harvested prosperity and abundant energy of creation that you are, you are right here, right now. And feeling that come up and reach up toward your belly button and be part of your skin, of your belly, of your physical body so that the energetics of that that beautiful orange energy reaches up and through the skin penetrates that energy of the belly button now with that yellow of that solar plexus, that sun chakra together, yellow and orange and the skin of the belly yellow and orange as though you were painting your skin. And you can use your hand to rub your belly. The more chubby, the more rolly, the more soft you can get, the better. Let the body have its space without judgment. Just let it be at ease. 
encompassing you and enfolding you, creating the embodiment of your solar plexus and your sacral chakra, your spirit, your intuition, your temple within you, and and your creation center of your sacral chakra. Breathe in now. Exhale out. Let this energy move together. Let these energies flow through you. They belong to you. The energy of the planets, the energy of the retrogrades, the energy of the new full moon coming in, the big full moon. They're yours. They belong to you. Mm -hmm. Coordinate. Coordinate with these energies. Embody your true essence. It's who you are. (laughs) This is who you are. A brilliant, vibrant being of light held in a glorious and gorgeous body. A body of energy, of skin, of miraculous measure. This is you. This is you here and now. I'm going to ask that you be grounded and centered in the time that is now in this life as you step into your day more fully, more completely. I ask that you be aligned with your spiritual guides, your healing helpers, I'm going to ask that any energy that has moved or shifted as a result of our conversation today, as our energetic conversation today, that nonlinear time be used to process any of these changes, which is basically while you're sleeping. If you need additional help to do so, or you find things maybe not clearing quite so readily, you can always call upon Archangel Metatron, who is an energetic chiropractor and will align your chakras and your energy centers and your energy grids in your body. And I would suggest, like I tell all of my clients, to do so before you go to bed to ask for their assistance because Metatron is a great sacred geometry master of grid and alignment in in regards to energy. So there you are. Mm Mm-hmm. Pretty nice, huh? I will also make mention that I am doing a small group on the last day of this month. That would be Thursday, the 31st of August. And you can join if you'd like. You can find a description in the description here in this video. You will see that there is a link where you can register for that small group. It usually ends up to be about an hour and 20 minutes or so, depending upon the group size. I try to keep it small, like less than 10 people, so that I can really connect and feel the group individually and personally. It's an extremely affordable option for a psychic reading, if you would like one. There's an opportunity for psychic Q&A. Not for everyone, but as many people as I can get through during our time. The format is as follows. It is a small group conversation. I do a little mini talk like I do here kind of on Sunday morning coffee, but I will channel like usually a spirit guide or a totem animal or something that comes through that feels really poignant. I'll do that for 10 minutes or so. Um, Then I will tap into individuals and we'll do some Q&A. I do not channel celebrities during this time. That's not the intent of this. It is extraordinarily affordable, and I have been doing it the last few months. In order to keep doing it, though, I will need your support, so please consider joining if you would like. Right now, the introductory price is only $40 per person to join. Again, you're not guaranteed a reading or personal information. However, you will definitely get involved in part of an inspiring psychic experience. Thank you so much for being part of Sunday Morning Coffee. I appreciate you guys always on Above Life channel here on YouTube. I will try to channel on Mondays, and it has been difficult in doing that. Thank you for your patience and for your continued support, as I have been trying to get it done on Monday, and if I can't, I'll do it on Tuesday. I do do very much value you, your time, your energy, and your focus, and I feel you. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope, and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life, after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.